Most of us are familiar with Disney's story of the fair princess Snow White and her stepmother, the evil queen. But how much do you know of the much darker tale told by the Brothers Grimm? In this twisted version, Snow is only seven years old when her stepmother learns that she, not the queen, is the fairest of them all. The huntsman is summoned and instructed to take the girl into the forest, but instead of her heart, Grimm's story has the queen demanding he bring back the girl's lungs and liver. The kind huntsman, just like in the animated version, spares the child's life and instead brings the evil queen the lungs and liver of a boar, which she promptly devours. And while in both tales Snow escapes and finds refuge with the seven dwarves, it's in the Grimm's darker version that upon learning of the huntsman's duplicity, the queen disguises herself and visits the cottage, not just once, but three times, in order to snuff out Snow White. First, as an old hag who tightens a corset around the girl's waist until she passes out and is left for dead. The second time, as a beggar with a poisonous comb, allowed by Snow to brush her hair, the little girl falls to the floor, apparently dead. Both times, the dwarves come home just in time to rescue Snow White and foil the evil queen's first two plans. Once more, disguised as an old woman this time, the queen heads out to the dwarves' cottage. But this visit produces a wiser and more perceptive Snow White who doesn't immediately allow the old woman in. So she offers the girl an innocent looking apple. Still, Snow is suspicious, so the old woman takes a bite to convince her. The girl is convinced and follows suit. But the crafty queen had only poisoned one side of the apple, and as soon as Snow White takes a bite, she falls to the ground dead. Again, the dwarves arrive home to a fallen Snow White, only this time they can't rouse the girl from her slumber and place her in a glass coffin to mourn their loss. This scene you may remember from the beloved movie, but here's where the Brothers Grimm's retelling gets really weird. Snow White's glass coffin remains undisturbed in the forest for years until one day, a prince is passing through, catches sight of the dead girl lying there, and falls in love with her. He decides to take her to his father's castle to give her a proper resting place. Along the way, one of the pallbearers trips and the coffin hits the ground, jarring the girl enough that the poisoned piece of apple that was still in her throat dislodges and flies out of her mouth, awakening her from her eternal slumber. Snow White and the prince decide to wed and they naturally invite the evil stepmother to the wedding. The queen agrees to go, but upon seeing Snow White alive, she's frozen with fright. That's when the two have the evil queen put on red hot slippers and make her dance until she falls down dead. Personally, I think this would be a much better movie than the brand new live action version Disney's currently working on. What do you think?